do you mean? The deadline's come and gone. Mm -hmm. Just reminding department heads that we haven't gotten them all. So why shouldn't it be on there? Okay. Route 109 restaurant. It's just a follow up uh, to let you know. I know you've gotten some emails. There's been some concerns that people from the public have come to you. Just letting you know that um, I've spoken to the liquor commissioner myself and um, if you've driven by there lately you've seen that there's a big closed sign anyways it's closed by their choice it had nothing to do with the liquor license um, the people that you gave the liquor license to um, had signed a lease through January 3rd so when that date came oh. and gone they closed it um, the understanding from Augusta is that the new owner uh, or the new leasee is um, going to renovate for the next three months and then open up a new business so she expects that we'll see him in over the next three months to apply for a liquor license so when we gave that liquor license they were only looking for it for two months no it just didn't work out oh okay so, and once they realized they couldn't <laughs> transpire it to someone else <laughs> speed limits speed limit updates um tim susi from maine dot is coming in on friday uh, morning at 10 to meet with uh, myself and deputy shaw to give us his recommendations on all of those roads he's done a speed speed study survey on each one of them so he's going to come give us our recommendation um, and then from there we'll ask the road guys to uh, well we'll purchase purchase the signs and get them installed start advertising what it's going to be on um, all of the roads how many roads is he doing I believe he did seven then that's Six or what seven. we requested yeah he oh, did the, yeah he did do all of them great. he figured while he was here Um, warrant budget deadlines so there a memo went out from the treasurer saying that uh, all requests for special warrant articles capital improvement items requiring a significant increase to the budget or special projects for the upcoming town meeting should be submitted to the treasurer no later than January 28 2016 uh, the deadline for the regular budget has not yet been set a notice will be sent once the Board of Selectmen create it so two things um, as far as the and, and I know we kind of talked about this last time Ted and I'm not uh, trying to I just I need to be able to tell them okay so so what I eventually went back to them is what I eventually went back to code enforcement planning board said was you know, they want to know what you're going to change what the substance of your warrant article is before January 28th they, you know what I mean they want to know what that is um, and we discussed the fact that they you know the public hearings have to come after the fact that you you understand that yep. um, and the question was, well, are we going to be able to change the, the wording to the warrant article at all? And I can't really say no because that's the purpose of the public hearing. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they, they intend to make some zoning changes or propose zoning changes for the June town meeting. So the, the question is, what specifically do you want from them in the month of January other than a verbal, we're working on warrant articles? Well, the, the want the, the planning board's version with them voting on it as a planning board this is what we want this is what we're putting forward okay. now if the changes come from the public then that's fine but the planning board doesn't get to change it and we did that from the first year if you remember but we had eight warrant we had eight warrants yeah. that year and we were right up to the last minute and zoning was involved in part of it so the planning board has to have what they want completed and voted on to go on the warrant and then they can go through the rest of the process and of course if the town doesn't like something and wants to change it then they can go back and change it but the planning board can't change it after that what their recommendation is has to be there you know has to be to us by january 28th and we've done that for the last five years in a row okay. so um, and i i don't want to change it. i don't know if, if you two do but i do not want to change it because otherwise we end up back with the same problem again with going over and over and sending it to the warrant of finance and then coming back and then rewriting the whole warrant and it, just, it was a nightmare and it's worked really well having that deadline for everybody it's not just you know no I know that, right changes. at this it's point every right. department anybody wants to put anything on special projects um, any new charities want to come in and, and it's worked really well instead of trying to go all the way till April and then adding people on it was a nightmare it really was it was a lot of work and we didn't really have a good warrant that year so I don't want to go through that again and they had plenty of time um, to get it through and they know they want to do it so I don't see any reason why they can't have it written up by January 28th okay and then in regards to the budget 
So the um, deadline is going to be the 28th for that. And didn't we do like the 15th or something of February last year? Um, last several years. Yeah, I think, well, I think it's usually a little later than that. Yeah, but to the end of February. Yeah. 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 And what, what does Michelle recommend? What does she need? I think it's, it was the end of February is what she was looking at. Okay. So I'll and I'll confirm with you what date. I'll talk to her tomorrow, but we'll confirm what yeah. date in February. Um, make, make sure she tells us what she would like. Um, and yeah. then the um, so after that you'll you can set a schedule as far as warrant and finance and so forth. Um, the superintendent did stop in today and asked, inquired about warrant and finance and. Um, when they were going to start meeting and you know because the school's going to start their budget meetings and so forth so well i imagine warren of finance will start attending their meetings and then they'll start calling their meetings as they see necessary with the school budget yep. um but they we won't when do we usually do our meeting with warren of finance that's usually right after school budget right after the school yeah vote. sometime in there yeah so we've got plenty of time before they have to worry about ours so we'll leave it up to warren of finance when they think it's necessary for them to meet in order to go over the school budget and then um but also if you could ask them um i don't do you folks want to do all the charities again this year or do you think we're good because they'll all be the same ones do we unless we get some new ones as far as having every charity come into yeah, us if you don't have new ones if it's just a repeat you know i don't think you have to drive yeah, i think them. the way we've been doing it the last couple of years have worked well yeah. okay so ask for warren of finance if they want to meet with them um but I'm good with the ones that we already have. Any new ones, I, I think we should have come in to see us. Has Wharton Finance ever got involved with the? Um, I mean, they don't no, they to... they haven't had they haven't asked for them to come to their meetings. Yeah. But yeah. I just want to offer, so you know everything's out there if they want to talk to somebody. Because I know one one year um, last year, um, Warren and Finance made some changes to it because some. Some of the charities that we've been doing for years had changed their name, and then there was a new charity in Sanford that was actually replaced in several of the other charities. Mm -hmm. So Warren Finance did make changes, and we went with them because of that new clinic that had opened up in Springvale. Right. Instead of paying for the Bitterfoot Clinic, they, they want. wanted to do yep. the Springvale Clinic. So give them the opportunity to do whatever research they want and uh, make their recommendations because it really worked out well that year with them doing that on the charities. Well, as long as they move fast. And then yeah. Table. Yeah, that's why I say if we start now and they, they got plenty of time instead of waiting until after they're done with the school board, then they can set their own meeting time. Um, in regards to the budget memo that's going to go out, um, what is it you're asking of the department heads that you control? I know the elected officials, but we went, in, went to this last year with, you know, what are we looking for for their employees, the library, the, you know, are, are the road guys, are we telling everybody, you know, the flat, they can go up 3 or 5%, are we telling, you know, um, you know, we, I need some sort of direction unless you're just going to be open to anything that comes in. I'd like to see um, figures from Michelle on what it would be because we're going to have a lot of new employees this year with the fire department. Um, I'd like to see, you know, what 2%, what 3% as far as raises, what it'll, it'll do to the tax rate. And is that something... I mean, we can we can do that based on the rough estimate of how many people are going to be at the fire and rescue. Yeah, just well, it's everybody though. You know, like we did this year, will we do a three and a half percent raise for everybody? Three. Three percent. So we knew what that number would be and how it it would affect the uh, tax rate. Um, do we have any other large warrant ar articles that you're going to be looking for this year? Other than you're going to finish side in the building, but that's yeah, not going to be. Yeah, definitely want to do that, right? Yeah, I you think so. Yeah, I know so. We got to get that done. All done with one, one, one yeah. thing. But we'll um, anything, any other big projects that? Um, I know Peter Smith has been bringing up the last several years that the backside of the fire department roof needs to be done. Um, we might want if you want to put that forward as a as a special project this year chief i don't know what it would cost i think he said it was like eight thousand dollars or something like that yeah we looked at um we did we looked at that a couple of years ago meaning that we've gotten the bill we're almost 20 years into that building now so yeah what the life expectancy was so um we've been uh, setting money aside i think we started a program on that okay so, well, if you uh, can figure out what you've got and what you'll need, and yeah. we can put in the extra yeah. for that, because that should be done. And with what I saw, it cost us to do this whole building with that um, company out of Pearl Work. Yeah. And they did an amazing job. Yeah. 
Paul um, I think it'd be well worth to get it done. Yep. Um, yep. So we don't get any leaks in there. In well, there. that's just it. That's just it. Like I said, we, you know, we built that in '98. So, yeah. so you know, 20 years is coming up quick now. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll talk with Peter on that, and we'll see. We'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. Um, so other, let's see. There was nothing something, else. Something else I wanted to mention for our warrant, and I can't remember what it was. I definitely wanted to do the. Um, finish the siding library entrance oh yeah that's the other one yep. yeah I forgot about that we want to get a, a bid on or a price so that we can go out to bid on um, matching the library entrance to the new town hall entrance I have spoken to mr. Letourneau a couple of times we'll say mm -hmm. and he assures me that he's going to be out to give us a quote so I'll keep calling okay now we didn't use any of the maintenance budget for the siding we used the money that we had gotten from the town to do the siding so we should have some money left over there for um, to go forward to towards the siding job next year so because we had been using like 15 grand a year or do we want to look at closing that well well we really should close the well that was what three thousand plus yeah, three thousand dollars yeah yeah, I mean, they probably can't do it now till spring, but that's okay. Yeah, we we really should do get it that out done. Of this year's budget. Yeah, 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 we really should. Okay. Have we done a? When was the last time we did a water test on the new well? Mm, it's been a while. Several months. Do you want to do another one? Something to think about, probably, just so we keep a benchmark on it. Okay. You don't have to do it tomorrow, but it's just something we should do really soon. Uh, next item. So I guess, so <coughs> actually real quick on the budget. So I will talk to Michelle. We'll agree on a date, see if I can get you some rough numbers, and then next week come back to you. So I'm not going to send a memo out to them yet for that February deadline until we know what to say in it. You know, the board is requesting your flat line or the board is recommending, you know, just so they know somewhere to start because it doesn't do any of us any good to put our budgets together if you're not going to support, you know what I mean? Yeah, I also want to, because we just did a, a projected budget for the fire department, um, and of course I know we didn't start it until late, um, but I'd like to see how that looks, um, you know, as far as whether that's, wasn't enough money for what we're actually going to be doing once it's combined or if it was way too much money or what I mean, I'd at, like to at this point we'll be lucky to be combined by March I mean the rate we're going honestly right but I mean if we we're going to be way over this year because we projected for the whole year right but I just want to know what we probably you know we got a better feel for it now that we know what we can ask for for next year for, the, for right that. but until we can consolidate and figure out who is doing what positions and how many people are going to be hired we don't have any numbers to go by no, I, figured, I thought just with uh, give you a rough idea with what we've been paying <coughs> since what right, but September they're just they're October. getting um well aren't they just they're getting stipends not so I mean she doesn't we're not paying the regular full-time employees yet right no so, but that's well, what we need to focus on, right? Because right, right now we, we're paying a lot of overtime. The stipends account because they're working every day. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We we the 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 wage scale that was set up with right. Peter and the slut. That's what that is what. Um, right, but it's going to be staffed with other people, right? When we when the time comes when we cross. Right. The so bridge, you're not going to have all these stipends. Well, we know what those salaries are going to be because we're going to hire those people based that, on that salary. That's correct. So we know that. That's a that's a. And that's how many hours number. a week? Are we going to still be paying? Because are we still going to be doing overtime? There's no overtime. It's going to be a salary. There's overtime. It, yeah. You're going to want to check with your treasurer. I assure you. Over 54 overtime. hours, right? 53 hours, 53. Uh, 212 hours, and a 28 day cycle. We'll talk off the record. Yeah. But we were, that's been taken care of. Um, but uh, yeah, so when the time comes, when we get to that, that bridge to cross, and that's like you said, we need to sit down and with the committee i would i would think that we'd probably go that route and, and see but, what uh, I, mean, well, I, I don't remember no. anything the in, no. in there about the committee looking at your budget that's going to be the oh. fire chief is going to be yes doing that's that. correct yes but right now right now the monies that are being spent is right. that salary scale that, that that peter smith put together with with you slatman and everything right um back x uh, months ago 
in right, but it was, a net, it was a big estimate, and I just want to see how close we are. And we, yep. I think we have enough yep. numbers that we can figure yep. that out. Yep. Um, because it would be huge if we can go down on that yes. this year. Oh, definitely. But like Jennifer said, until, until was four, things what, are consolidated and those. we got some kind of yeah. a base, right now we don't have a baseline. We have right. nothing to start we with. We have nothing to go by. We're right. just, Absolutely. we're just. No, I, I yeah. have no complaints so. about it, but it'd yeah. be really good because of the oh, rate, that, the way we had to go up in taxes last year, it'd be great if it was flat or or less. It is, it, that's all I want it to will look be. at. It should yeah. be. Yeah. 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 It should yeah. definitely I'm be. I'm pretty sure it's going to fall flat or less. So, not that I'm looking to cut it, but I mean, I think I think that number is still going to be a very, yeah. Usable number. Yeah, and I think we were, we were high when, yep. when we thought that, and that was kind of the thought. Is but like Jennifer said, we we got no baseline, so that's what we got to work off. So, yep. thank you. So, 2013 foreclosure notices. Just wanted to let you know that we have sent out foreclosure notices. Um, we have a total of 20 properties that are subject to foreclosure um, in about two weeks. So we'll keep you posted on that. A uh, lot of them going to be paid before the end. Do you think? I would say that out of twenty, I expect that at least ten to fifteen are paid. Okay. I expect the town will own a few of them. Oh, seriously? Seriously. Oh, that's too bad. There's second homes. If that makes you feel any better. No. What? Second homes. No, or second properties. Feel any better. Well, some of them are just land, though. I guess I didn't, oh, mean, to okay. say, I didn't mean to say it like that. To come on, but they're <laughs> really not not heartless. <laughs> no, we. Moving on. Last thing I put on the agenda was winter sand, <laughs> and I put this. I thought David's eyes would light up. The only reason I put this out there is because I know we're on television and just kind of wanted to clear up. We had gotten a couple of emails. I think I told you guys, or maybe I didn't. We got a couple of emails. People just wanted to make sure they knew where they could get um, sand in the meantime because apparently, sand. right, free sand. There wasn't any at the transfer station. So I spoke to both David and Scott, and um, Scott took care of his side by adding sand to the salt shed, and David was taking, excuse me, Scott took care of his end by putting sand at the transfer station so people can get it there when it's open and david is handling the new building site they're in the process of figuring out where they're going to put their old little shack and let people go in there right yep that was uh, a prime shed built by my students i'll have you know not a shack <laughs> <laughs> It was even movable just for construction. Just never win with these three. It just was never. even movable no for construction. Doing, now it can go win. back and, and, just... and be useful again, and the town didn't oh, lose my. any money. <laughs> Jed, excuse me. Eric, did you get that? With the, um, with the holidays in the last couple of weeks here, um, I'm trying to get. I'm going to try to line up something with Ken Paul. <clears throat> we have to figure exactly where we can put the building. With the, uh, you need setback. a permit for that? Well, from the sounds of it, it has to be at 75 feet, 25 feet. Oh, I can't just, go back where it was. No, because I, when I, when Scott and I laid right out, we, that's why we moved the, uh, the shed originally, because um, we ended up having to put our new shed where that one was. So, uh, say our new shed's about 78 feet off the road, that means there's no room there for the, um, for the little portable salt shed there. So um, I'm going to try to line up something with Ken here very shortly, see if we can find an alternate spot down there. We're going to try to find something where it's close enough to the road that they're not, they're not pulling into the town shed so they're not in our way down there. Right. But um, How about right beside Ken's office, right at the end of the... We, we very well there. could do that. <laughs> uh, away from all the roads, all the yeah, setbacks are set. And, but, you know, we're, we're, at the same time, um, the where we had the shed before worked great because we could keep it full, Yeah, just take the loader fruit instead of... For, you know, because for Scott to have to haul the sand up there, you know, that's... It's time, money. <coughs> We're saving money by doing this down here. It's more accessible. But um, I got to. It's accessible 24 7. Too. It's accessible 24 7. And, um, but I'm going to see if, you know, really what guidelines we have to go by. It, it's portable, it's not a, an actual structure where it's fastened to the ground. So um, it's whether or not the size of it's an issue. So um, I don't want to re erect it until I've got Ken's blessing and make sure we're away from setbacks and all that so um all right so in the meantime sand is only available at the transfer station and we will let them know as soon as we get the other building up back up wherever we i could it. we i mean i've seen other towns do it i i try prefer not to do it but i could leave some outside the shed 
you know, it was a big paved in area. I could leave a bucket or two outside if people wanted to pick at that for now. Um, but, um, you know, we prefer them not being in there. But the problem is the people are going in, and they're going into the old shed. Um, oh, man. Yeah, the other, so, while well, we're still trying to clean out the old shed, um, we did, during, the problem we're having is there's no lights out there right now. So during a snowstorm at night, we don't go in there because, you know, it's hard to see this and that. So, um, but during a daytime storm, we can still pull out of there and, you know, have some visibility. But, um, so I really can't block it off without having to worry about, you know, hooking onto a Jersey barrier and pulling it out every time we go down. So, uh, I did, I was down there the other day hooking up a snow plow and I happened to look in and there was a truck in there. I didn't even know it. <laughs> it was in there loading up. So, at some point, we're going to try to get that emptied out so we can barricade that off. Are the piles high enough in there that somebody you know, could come down on somebody? Or no, is not in there. Okay, no, good. no. The, I mean, the pile's only about 10 feet high at the most. Okay, but and, that building has been condemned, so yep. please don't go into that building. That's well, why we had to build a new one. Well, we're, we're trying to get the material out yeah. that's in there, and then after that, we're going to uh, abandon ship. Uh, and I'll block it off. I'll put a couple of jersey barriers across it, and um, we should be there, fine there. So, I, mean, I guess in the meantime, <clears throat> excuse me, I could put a, a bucket or two outside of the shed, and they can pick at that for now. Okay. And um, you know, that I think that's probably the easiest solution for. <clears throat> but I would, I would say in the next couple of weeks, we should have another, the other building up one way or another. Is this? <clears throat> The clearing where where we had the shed before is there enough room there we, to pull we, off? We well, up further I, from the I, driveway. We could. We, I mean, I as a perfect spot up there that'd be ideal to have it out next to the road. Whether or not we have to go by our setbacks, that's the only thing that's holding us up. You know, no, I was thinking for temporary. If you put a couple of buck loads up there, then they. Don't uh, we we don't. You know, I mean, it, we we try to keep our salt sand on the hot top so we can clean it up. Oh, okay. So, so it doesn't get. Into we there. don't want to be dumping it all over the place. So that's why I said I could dump it out on the hot top and we can clean it up later on or if it freezes up or whatever. So, um, but I mean, ideally, if we could put our that that shed back up kind of next to the road um that would be ideal for everybody then they could pull right off the road load up and go whether or not um ken's gonna let us do that i don't know yet so um i guess it's up to him and you guys so i'll, I'll talk to him about it see what happens and if i did give him a heads up that you'd be coming yeah. to speak to him about it so he's prepared and has yeah. some ideas yeah oh he does okay good and other than that the uh the new shed's working out well you know, it's uh, work out real well. So I did make a phone call into um, Dave, uh, Dave Alexander about uh, hooking up the power. Um, there was money's left in the account, so we can hook up the power to the, to the old, build, the old, old building. The old building, so we have power, and then we don't have no lights or nothing in there when we go get the loaders in the middle of the night. So um, um, I'm just waiting for his call back. I haven't heard from him yet. I'm sure with the holidays and stuff, he's busy. So that's the guy that did the new building. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, did, did a good did, job. Yeah, he did do a good job. I mean, nice guy, and uh, <clears throat> he gave us a, a a reasonable price that's well below the um, price that we have to put out the bid. So I, I feel comfortable with the price that he gave us. So, um, um, so I'm just waiting back from him to see about getting a, a set time <clears throat> to have him uh, hook that up. So, um, pretty much all he's going to be doing is just hooking up. So we got lights and stuff in there. We're not doing nothing crazy. It's just what it was before, just lights and outlets. Yeah, well, before I had oh, a, I had, had, the, had the whole service yeah, and everything sure. hooked there. So what what we did is when we did the excavation on the um, the new building, we cut off the conduit. Did the foundation and then we reconnected the conduit so that and across so we can run it back across so it, it worked pretty well um we haven't tried just thinking anything through it yet but <laughs> but we believe it's going to work well and um i guess while i'm up here um i i showed up at the meeting a little late uh was there any decisions made on um the first thing on your agenda there not yet. The, no, okay. I just we had discussion and we put it forward to the I, next step, and it will be. I meant to be here a little time. earlier, and I okay. decided to eat my dinner. So, <laughs> all right. Old business. Anybody have any old business? Do not. New business. New Other business, business. We have. We have new business. Well, the dam meeting is on Friday, eight o'clock in the morning, and this is to review the uh, RFPs. Yeah. Uh, RFQ. RFQ. 
request, oh, for, request quotes. for quotes for this dam. Now they've got uh, three. I think. Did you get all this paperwork? On I them? did. So there's what? Is it five? Five. Yeah, there's five or six different engineering firms that put a bid in. Right. That yeah. has to all be thrashed out. Yep. Uh, yeah. They were talking. I forget what it was. It's a pretty big money for uh, just That's for 20, an hour 20, 30, or two. and up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this just, is just for engineering. Just for engineering and, to see what needs to be right. done to fix the fix the dam. And there's so. no idea what the cost is going to be to fix this dam. Right. So. Talk about the water loss lane. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So Friday, Friday we'll find out. Uh, I guess who the successful are. Yeah, engineering <laughs> probably. Is, and uh, and go from there. They they I think Marcel in that last letter he sent uh, said that there's another meeting on the 28th. I think there was. Yeah, uh, I know to, we said to to, uh, to firm up things. So I I don't know how the money is issue is going to be handled. Yeah. We'll be responsible for what a third of that, I think it is. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, twenty-five quarter. percent. Quarter of it. Quarter for us, a quarter for Shapley, and fifty percent for Sanford. Right. So, that's how that will play out. Yeah. And we have money in a fund already, don't we? Seventeen. That we've yeah, set about up. seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah. But less than eighteen thousand. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that means we put another fifteen thousand or twelve thousand into there. In, towards it in that budget over there mm -hmm. from our paying our dues so we got about 25 grand in yep. all right do you have any announcements sir no sir all right motion I move we oh, wait a minute. oh just real quick um number uh, da, 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 on G in regards to the route 109 restaurant Jen if we can uh, if we could get some information on who a key holder will be, um, being a commercial building and all, I don't want to make force entry into that building. If they're going to be doing mm -hmm. reservations, there is a um, security system in there, and we, time to time, we do have fire alarms that go off. So we we do our policy is to go in and check the building and make sure. And I, I think you said there's a, a new owner or something. <laughs> well, Jim Langley is still uh, Jim, Jim Crowley is still the owner okay, of the right. building. So okay, so it's somebody local. Changed. So, okay, very He's good. just going to be leasing it out to someone different. Okay. As of now, we haven't seen a copy of that lease. Okay. The gentleman nope, has fine. just popped in. So whether it happens or not, yep. so I would stick with your contacts with Jim. Okay, no, nope, that's good. That's that's all I want. Something know, changes. So I'll let you know. know what somebody that's how you go. do it now. You go through Jim. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That with him. We have yeah. And I I chose my word wrong. I mean, he's releasing. He's leasing it out to someone else. No, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure we had proper information, and I'll I'll see you in a minute. Yep. Motion. I move we adjourn. Seconded. All in favor. Let's look at the sign. At 5:50 p.m. Oh, both of those. Okay.